We're back to introduce you to bands you may have heard of, but never listened to. So here are five songs from Architects that will help you get an idea for their sound. The Brighton-based Five Piece was formed in 2004 and have released 10 albums so far. So let's take a look back at some of their biggest songs to get you started. Track 1, Nihilist. From 2016's seventh album, All Our Gods Have Abandoned Us, Nihilist set the tone for an album filled with anger and darkness. The opening lines are screamed with a flurry of drums and overwhelming guitars, telling you everything you need to know as architects hold a mirror up to the world, showing us how godless and dark society has turned in recent times. Architects have never been one to shy away from social, political or environmental issues and this song has a wonderful introduction to the ethos and ideals of this band. Vocalist Sam Carter has talked about Nihilist, saying that it has a lot of bitterness about how the world works throughout the track, which is also a theme throughout the whole of the album it features on. Following on from the intensive opening section, the song settles into the verse with a riff provoking headbanging, followed by a short chorus keeping the tempo driving forwards. Nihilist then drops the wall of aggression for the bridge section, taking a more melodic approach. The lyrics in this section are filled with reflections of selfishness with the lines, I found God clutching a razor blade. He said, look at the fucking mess they've made. They'd trade their hearts if they were made of gold. The greed of humanity has become overwhelming with a lack of empathy. And these lines provide room for thought on how selflessness and awareness of others is a trait that needs to be more acknowledged amongst the wider population. Nihilus continues with a tom build-up with more aggressive vocals once more, leading towards more of a breakdown to lead into the final section of the song. Nihilist although coming from the seventh album, is regarded as an older song and one of a few that will still be included in live setlist amongst more recent material, proving itself to be a standout amongst their discography. Track 2, Doomsday. A metalcore anthem and originally released as a standalone single in 2017, Doomsday was the first release from the band following the death of primary songwriter and guitarist Tom Searle. Doomsday would also be later added to the band's 8th studio album titled Holy Hell, released in 2018. Dan Searle, the drummer and brother of the late Tom Searle, took the incomplete song and wrote the lyrics, with Dan saying, completing it for him was a massive responsibility. Lyrically, the track deals with the heartbreaking grief of losing a friend and a brother, with poignant and powerful lines such as, they say the good die young, and, I have to do this for you, and the only way out is through. This song is an honest and real representation of the struggle of grief after losing a loved one. Musically, Doomsday has one of the catchiest and most memorable riffs in modern metal music. It kicks right off with his riff, with vocalist Sam Carter proving he is the best in the game with his incredible blend of harsh and clean styles across the whole track. The verse takes a much more melodic approach, allowing for Doomsday to naturally build with the band entering with a pre-chorus with Dan's drum performance becoming the driving force towards the chorus with the iconic riff appearing once more. The lyrics of the chorus have an incredibly catchy hook to them, exposing architects as incredible songwriters to a much wider audience than just their fan base. The emotion in the song carries its way throughout ingrained within Sam's vocal delivery, creating not just a journey for listeners, but a connection that runs even deeper. The strength of the lyrics combined with the incredible musicianship has propelled Doomsday into one of the most iconic and powerful songs in recent years. Despite the sadness of the song and the struggle architects have gone through, Doomsday still exists as a beacon of hope for both fans and the band.
Track three, Animals. Animals was released as the lead single for their ninth album, For Those That Wish To Exist, which came out in 2021. This song marked yet again a change for Architects, continuing to display how they have evolved and progressed since their formation. A simple yet crushing song, Animals feels like a mission statement for Architects, bringing about a new sound to fill bigger and bigger venues. The song explores themes of hopelessness and uncertainty, ideas that are apparent throughout the entirety of the album. Written in the midst of a global pandemic, on top of the existential dread of modern life, Animals feels like the perfect summary of a world at its breaking point. The opening lines highlight this perfectly, saying, I do my best, but everything seems ominous. Not feeling blessed, quite the opposite. This song has much more of an industrial feel than we've ever had in Architects music before, with stomping riffs and drums right from the get-go. This different approach paves the way for the melodic and tom-driven verse to give an adjustment period for this new and exciting sound from the band. Before you know it, the chorus hits with a big lead line of, we're just a bunch of fucking animals. This chorus will have listeners headbanging immediately with a strong pulse it carries on the beat. Further into the song, post-chorus number two, the sirens provide a warning before the bridge and the breakdown. Dan Searle cracked into his china cymbal alongside simple and heavy riffs created to get the mosh pits moving. Animals is a sign for the future of architects moving forward into a new chapter and once again changing and influencing the landscape of metal music as they do it. Track 4, Dead Butterflies. The third single from the prior mentioned ninth album, For Those That Wish To Exist, Dead Butterflies has the addition of an orchestra creating an arena-filling sound which is fitting with the huge rise of the band in its recent years as leaders of the metal scene. Written by drummer Dan Searle, he has spoken of the song being about struggling to find happiness and joy in everyday life, saying how illogically hard it is to cultivate happiness in the modern world. The symbolism in the lyrics of the doves being bearers of good news flying away, yet the ravens who bring bad news remaining, reflects these comments from Dan. Initially driven by the drum beat during the intro, the brass take the melody for the majority of the pre-verse and chorus sections, something not heard in Architects music before. There are moments when the usually big heaviness of Architects feel like they're creeping through, only to be restrained. The bridge section is the most similar sound to prior music, but still provides enough of a difference from the old sound to be unique to this song. There are moments in the chorus with the words, fly high, where Sam's vocals are soaring in the mix allowing for his abilities to really shine through, exhibiting how talented a musician he is. The adaptions and growth that are displayed in Dead Butterflies show why architects are not just mainstays in the genre, but leaders. The growth and development they have made in their career allows them to have longevity, and this wouldn't happen without songs like Dead Butterflies. Track 5, Deep Fake. <laughs> 2022 saw the 10th album release from Architects called The Classic Symptoms of a Broken Spirit. In the lead up to its release, 
the third single Deepfake stands out, showing the experimentation from the previous album being built upon and further developed to enhance the new style of Architects. Speaking on the meaning of Deepfake, vocalist Sam Carter relayed drummer Dan Searle's message when writing it, saying that Searle is talking about what's going on in the world, and despite all the problems, we act like everything's okay, and or you can put a fake face on everything. There can be such an ignorance to what is really going on sometimes, and Deep Fate talks about how people can be exploited by leaders in governments, with lines such as, they've got a fistful of fucking gold, a return on the souls they've sold, and these tyrants will build an abyss, but the rest of us wish to exist. Musically, Deep Fate features a brief synth-based intro before launching into an industrial-style powerful instrumental section. Verses have an electronic feel alongside a smooth vocal delivery by Sam Carter, before bursting into a simple yet stamping chorus section, delivering the song's message in a strong fashion. Deep Fate continues with these musical themes, with electronic elements creating a build with high expectation in the bridge, paving way for a slamming halftime breakdown bound to get crowds moving during live performances. Deep Fate provides a good representation of not just architects in the modern day, but an evolution in where the band has come from in their long career. This development gives room for thought on how architects can progress and evolve further in the years and albums to come. So that was the beginner's guide for architects. If you're a fan of them, what songs would you suggest that weren't on this list that would help people get into their music? Who would you like to see a beginner's guide on to introduce you to a band and their music? Comment down below, like the video, and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest releases in heavy music that we review on our monthly podcast. We have gig vlogs and various other content surrounding the genres of metal and alternative music, so stay tuned.